people, 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 people. Keep us a supper, say what they do. Now, people, this part of the video is called The Givers and the Receivers. And we're talking about the bowing syndrome that is going on in Jamaica and specifically as it pertains to men and women in uniform of the clothes, the government clothes. Now, people, we see that there was a video that took the internet social media by storm and it was starring the squaddy and the lady in Mate, not the wifey. And we saw that that video was about uh, five minutes and maybe about 10 seconds long. And the squad was getting all sorts of rating. And he kind of aided in a lot of Jamaicans kicking down the closet door. We are talking about the Niamin closet and exposing all their tongue skeletons. Now people, after that, there was a next video that was out. And it shows a man that works with the ambulance. And this video was about uh, 30 seconds, half a minute long. And it showed a girl smiling and the ambulance worker doing his stuff in his uniform. However, that was kind of basic. It kind of pia pia compared to the original squad. Now, people, like I said, whenever anything happens in Jamaica, it always happens in succession. We are speaking about one after the other. We are talking about back to back and people like them say, one fool makes many. Now people, in this video, it is basically reverse. In this video, there is a female popo. We are speaking about one of those popo that goes on special operation in the blue with all sorts of knee pad rate. So people, we say, say she's already built for the job. J-O-B to be specific. Now this video is about 5 minutes and maybe about 39 seconds long. However, people, it was okay. She was doing her thing. The man was on the receiving and one little big belly man. So people, if we realize there is an ongoing theme here, everybody seems like they have some sort of big belly. So therefore, we can come to the conclusion that the people with big belly are getting most of the H-E-A-D-S in a Jamaica. People, me just I say, it seems as if everybody that is on the receiving end have some sort of pot belly, look like some sort of Miss P-I-G-G-Y. And this is not to this any other plum lady because we love when you still me just I talk about the video. Now, people, like I said in this video, which is not as exciting as the squaddy video because people are truth and the fact is that the squaddy he deserves a Grammy, he deserves a Oscar, he deserves a Emmy, he deserves to be put in the Hall of Fame, the Nyamin Hall of Fame. Based on where the woman them I said people, me no know I am not the expert on this, I am just saying based on the request that he has been getting. However, as it pertains to this female Paul Paul, this female squaddy, she was doing her thing. I would not say she is amateur ish. She's up there with maybe the best of the best of them. However, the enthusiasm, the effort was not there like how you say squaddy. He might tear some by, he might lick him finger them. He was making all sorts of noise. He was interactive. In this lady, she was just doing her thing and the man did act like him now, feel nothing, act like him numb. However, people like me say, we have to give credit where credit is due. And this lady was doing her thing, so therefore, people. Now, we see that when this incident occurred, we see that the popo, they are doing all sorts of damage control. And we even saw where the cybercrime team, they said that they want people to stop putting out these videos. And people, you know that it is a sort of C-R-I-M-E. If you do that maliciously, if you just take somebody's picture and you betray them, or somebody's video and you betray them, and you put it out there, it is a crime. However, as a blogger or somebody that is in the media, that is what I do. I report on incidents that are going on. So therefore, the moral of the story is this. Don't start no ish, won't be no ish. So I say this to say that if you are a popo or somebody in some sort of uniform, I would advise you not to put yourself out there. Not to lay with dogs or else you are going to get flee. And whenever anything goes on social media and people see it, 
people are going to want it is going to be the law of supply and demand and people stuff like that mix up pasa pasa and them sort of thing that they are always hot on social media so therefore while i understand that the popo is doing their job they are doing damage control you can't blame the wrong people you have to blame the officer you have to blame the squad and their partners for basically exposing these videos point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance all source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, the other day I did a video about a Jamaican living in the Bahamas. Her name is Star, O.C. Star. I think her last name is Beckford. And it is said that she had some sort of physical altercation with her lover, who is one of those ladies that basically rub up each other together. You understand the point? So anyways... After the incident, she made a post on social media and she is saying that she only juke ju up the lady two times and she not understand how the lady passed away. And we saw that the poor poor in the Bahamas, they put her on the most wanted list. And people, this is the video of Star going to court in the Bahamas the other day. So people, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my piece. She was charged along with four other men today. Janelle Longley has that. Loved ones of the late Lakeisha Mackey holding back no words as 33-year-old Jamaican national Nadisha Backford was hauled before the magistrate's court today before Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt for her February 20th. On the day in question, police say shortly after 11 p.m., they were called to the scene of a stabbing incident which occurred on West Bay Street. Preliminary reports determined that two females, believed to be Beckford and Mackey, got into an argument in the parking lot of a business establishment. Mackey was stabbed in her back multiple times and succumbed to her injuries while in hospital. Days following, a woman purporting to be Beckford appeared in a viral video apologizing for the alleged incident. Beckford was not required to enter a plea and has been remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections until May 31st when she will be served with a voluntary bill of indictment. Now people, like I said, the pros and the cons of social media. When this lady did her deed, she went on social media, she went on live. And she basically did not show any sorts of remorse. And we see once again she's on social media, specifically YouTube in this video. However, we see two different state of mind. We see two different reactions. Now she looks passive. She don't look so hype. She kind of calm down because the law hold on upon her. And she knows exactly what is coming next. People, we are speaking about the Ratakan. We are speaking about Judgment Day. So at the end of the day, we have a next Jamaican that is disgracing Jamaica overseas, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.